we refer to the T-pad as a variable friction display. And the basic concept of variable friction is fairly simple and easy to understand. As your finger is resting on a surface, um, it is pushing down with some normal force N. And it slides along with some velocity V. Now, because of friction, there is a resistance force F that is always pointed in the direction opposite of V. So whatever direction on the screen you're, you're, you're moving, F is always um, pointed in the opposite direction and resisting. Um, now, the oldest and simplest um, model of friction, and the one that I'm going to talk about here, is called Aminton's first law of friction. And what that law says is that this resistance force, F, is equal to the normal force, N, times some coefficient, mu. This mu is called the coefficient of friction, um, and it is what we are able to change um, with the T-pad. So if you were to make a plot um, of mu on the y-axis and T-pad amplitude on the x-axis, um, you would see that when the T-pad is off, friction is high. When the T-pad is all the way on, friction is low. Um, and it is a mostly linear function um, in between. Now, the important thing to consider here is that for a finger pressed down on a surface sliding along, um, the normal force N is for the most part constant. Um, so we can also think of this plot not as mu, um, but as a, a plot of F, the resistance force. 